I'm John Allams. I'm a project worker with the ESP project. And this is... Sam Noble, currently working in an MPC course for the military. Great. OK, so how did you two first meet? I was introduced to Sam via his alternative education programme um, from a local school. Um, he was accessing online education uh, because he refused school. He did go in one day a week, well, one night a week, mm -hmm. for um, physical education from mm -hmm. four to five, but that's all he did in school. Mm -hmm. But it was he was expected to achieve more than he was, mm -hmm. so that's why he was introduced mm -hmm. to me, because we thought he might be at risk of doing nothing, mm -hmm. you know, and just slipping through the net altogether. Mm -hmm. So I met with Sam at his alternative ed provision and introduced by the deputy head of the school. Okay. Um, we did CVs and job search, and we talked about his interest in the Navy. Didn't have a backup plan if he wasn't getting into the Navy and definitely didn't want to go on to any other education. So I thought about MPC and we arranged for him to go and have a look around and an assessment. And he was over the moon when he got accepted, weren't you? No. Were you really pleased? Major step forward. Mm -hmm. So what, what did you feel like when, you, when you, you first met this lady? Nervous at first, but then as time went on, we got knew each other better. He, um, sorted me out mm. like I knew what she wanted me to do and she was telling me how to get there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was all right so yeah, you didn't yeah. feel you were being pushed you felt you were being encouraged and supported no. yeah to get where you wanted to go no. yeah okay if it wasn't for John then I wouldn't have got to the MPC and then obviously my fitness wouldn't have been anywhere near as it is now and I wouldn't have got into the new mm -hmm. so so what, what are you actually actually on the course at the moment are uh, you where is it where is it Gateshead. In Gateshead. So you have to travel up to Gateshead every day, do you? Mm -hmm. Is that a strain? Not really. Mm -hmm. Initially, um, there was at first, was, like, so didn't know my way around Gateshead and I didn't know mm -hmm. how to get to the metro. Mm -hmm. But then um, John sorted me out with a sheet off the internet, mm -hmm. telling me what bus to get and how to get there, mm -hmm. and giving me my first coin to get over there, because I get my travel every week on the Friday. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have any coin to initially begin with. Mm -hmm. So. So if you hadn't had that, you wouldn't have got there, really, would you? Not. <laughs> so it's that sort of practical help that it makes all the difference. It does. Yeah, yeah. Just, it's not just about, yeah, you can do it. It's also about, here's the money and here's the map. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to credit the Sam, he has a bus, a metro and a walk. It's not, it's not an easy travel, you know. It's not just round the corner like his old head was. Mm. Um, he, he has come far. He's come a huge yes, way. Yes, he has. That's really yeah, impressive. Yeah. Yeah. And the school are very proud of him as well. The mm -hmm. school are really mm -hmm. proud of him. What about your folks, your mum and dad? What do they think? Really proud. Mm -hmm. That's great to make your mum and dad proud, isn't it? Yeah. So what's your long-term ambition? Um, physical fitness and then apply for the Navy mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. a Royal Submariner. Right, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, okay. And will, uh, will Jan continue to, are you continuing to support him? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what? He, if he needs us, yes. Mm -hmm. So you don't just dump him? No, no, no. No, he's just there if he, need, if he needs anything. I mean, obviously, the, the military preparation course, they've took over the bulk of it now with the applications and, you know, to get his fitness levels to where they need to be. And, you know, they've asked them to defer for a month to apply. Um, you know, to help them with the process, you know, so they know when they're ready to actually start mm. applying and, mm. and stand a better chance of getting in first application. Well, they're the experts in yes, that they bit, are, aren't they? they yeah. Are. Yes. Mm. Okay. So, has it been a good experience for you? Yes. It has. It has. Rewarding. It's really rewarding, yes, because I don't know whether you're interested. Part of this, I work front line. Right. But it was mm. just office based all of mm. the time, so you didn't see this the young people from beginning to end, you know, you just saw them that little bit that were coming in mm. and you invariably you never saw the same person twice mm. very often. Mm. We had to work from school right through and see how far Sam's come and, and the other clients. It, it's mm. really, really rewarding. 